What's up, Alter Boys? Welcome back to my channel. I've got another fundamental Nikola Nowitzki My Career video for you, and today we have our very first matchup against Victor Wembanyama. We are the two most glazed players in the game, and I'm sure we will be for a long time. We're both centers that can shoot, we're in opposite conferences, so we could be seeing each other often in the finals, and we're the first set of players in NBA history to both be drafted number one overall, according to 2K. They have him set as an 84 overall rookie, which is the highest ever in 2K history, but I am 40 games deep into the season and doing pretty well for myself at 95 overall. I'm looking to embarrass the Frenchie tonight, and if that's not enough already, I'm also going to be doing it in the ugliest jerseys we have. Now, I know I have been giving Jordan Poole a lot of flack because of his on-court performances and off-court facial appearance, but he's come a long way since then. Just kidding, he's now coming deep off the bench, getting 12 minutes a game, which is even less than Tyus Jones and Danilo Gallinari. Saying we don't support Black men? Really? The only negative thing anybody ever said about Jordan Poole is that he couldn't play a lick of basketball. Newsflash! That wasn't a lie! This right here is honestly by far the best lineup I found that works for me and hear me out. DeLon Wright, 6 foot 5 point guard, 3 and D, absolute dog. He hates shooting the ball unless it's wide open and that works for me. Corey Kispert, my Caucasian brother, is a knockdown shooter. His major flaw is that he is a little bit of a liability on defense, but the rest of the starters can make up for that. Kyle Kuzma, you already know he's overpowered as a 6'9 small forward and just another player on the court that can finish off the pick and roll. Daniel Gafford is the love of my life. No homo, I love every inch and pound of this man. He's what makes this team work. He is naturally a center, but at the power forward position, he helps a ton on defense, the boards, and is a freak of nature athlete. Honestly, this guy is prime DeAndre Jordan, and you cannot tell me otherwise. But it is time to get started. I have been looking forward to this one for a while now, and I will be making the jump to Hall of Fame difficulty for the first time tonight and never switching back. What I've learned about this difficult from my experience of playing 2k is that if you're going to shoot a contested shot you need perfect timing to have a chance of making it so with my style of play i just have to find open shots and sometimes the cpu will be unstoppable for minutes at a time but you just need to apply vaseline around the rim of your asshole and keep pushing forward i can't win a tip off against a normal size center in the nba so i'm not even going to try against this thing we're on offense for the first time this game and i'm going to go at vic right away i hit him with the fade away i have nearly perfect timing but this is hollow fame difficulty that's not gonna work i get the ball down low i would love to go at vic but i'm gonna see what happens and they're gonna double team me even though i haven't scored yet so kyle kuzma's gonna get an open three vic's now trying to go at me i do not have the footwork to keep up with him but i am a whole tyus jones heavier than him so i'm gonna stop him at the basket i get the ball down low again jeremy sohan is gonna pick me up and i'm not gonna get a double team so i'm gonna back him down and fade away and hit that i'm just trying to put in some work on vic but they keep on double teaming me so i'm just gonna have to keep on feeding the guys on the perimeter i'm not about to ask for a double team over here although vic is capable of just going right through my body getting the rebound and putting it back in little pick and roll action here of course i'm gonna float that up near perfect timing but that's not good enough we get the stop i get the rebound so i'm gonna bring this all the way up and keep the mismatch on me i am sorry but i'm going to have to abuse that finally get to go one-on-one -on -one against vic let me just back him down real quick send up the post hook and that was an awful idea i get the ball i'm honestly shocked i get to keep going one one on one against him i send him another shoulder and he goes flying i fade and oh my god that's still not good enough to go in if it gets a ball up top i think i can close out on him and he just goes right past me but you know what daniel gafford thank you if he's gonna beat me one on one then you better hurt him again with the classic move by me i'm not sure if this is fundamental or just cheating in the game but i get the mismatch by getting the rebound and i'm going to keep abusing them inside 12 seconds left in the quarter we're down eight we need a quick bucket so i speed it up and get down the court i find Danilo Gallinari with a dime but we're just gonna miss that layup but he got the rebound open dunk <laughs> I'm not getting any help today. All right, new quarter, new me. Let's go, bitch. Just gonna drop this sweaty shoulder into you for a second and hit a nice little fadeaway. But Vic still hasn't cooled down. He's got a man in his face, but he's just gonna shoot right over him and bank it in. I'm ready to go at Vic again. I'm feeling it. I get the ball down low and we're all just gonna stand around me and ruin the play. So I'm gonna have to bring that out, run the pick and roll, and I got Reggie Bullock coming off this. So I'm gonna float that in for two. Running the pick and roll here with Gallinari. He sets a screen on air. I still find him but I know he's about to get blocked, so I stop 
stopped him from that. I get the ball back. I matched on to another seven footer, but I am feeling the fadeaway right now. They give it to Vic on the wing, but I am locked in. I'm playing solid defense and he's just gonna shoot that right over me. And this man is only a rookie. We need to tear his ACL ASAP to save the rest of the league. The only bright side of his physique is that you can push him around in the paint some. I'm just gonna get backside position here, raise up 10 inches and safely dunk that in. I'm still getting double teamed and we still can't hit wide open threes. To be fair though, that makes me feel a little bit better about myself when I have to abuse mismatches like this. One on one against Vic, psych. Gallinari hitting the open three, psych. And I'm gonna get screened on the way back by my own teammate and they're gonna get a cherry pick on me. You love to see it. Double team down low once again, but I got my best shooter open and Corey can't even hit a three. Wow. We're gonna stick with it though. An open man is an open man and I'm not gay, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. Kyle Kuzma is gonna hit that three, finally. I honestly don't wanna activate my takeover because I don't wanna get double teamed more than I am already. But I've gotta do it here because I need all the help I can get when I'm on defense in the pick and roll. Thankfully Vic popped, so that made it easy for me, but the lawn right, this is why I love this man. He gets the steal, he finds me in the fast break. I know I've got Vic chasing me, but I am not gonna get blocked by him today. I'm gonna send that up for a little safe floater. Look, I am not meant to guard people that can handle the ball. Vic just breaks my ankles, I am frozen. He's gonna knock that down, I have no shame. But you know what, Vic's not meant to be taking moving screens. So I'll just be drawing out the one man guarding the two of us and find Gafford for the easy shot. I had a slow start to this game, but it's starting to come together and to only be down two points after that is pretty decent. I'm still hot going into the second half, so of course I'm gonna get double teamed, but I find Kuzma who has been the only reliable shooter today. This is not my brightest moment on defense. I go under the screen and Sohan just stays there again and I get screened again and he hits a three. I only have 18 points and I'm getting double teamed every play, but the lawn right, thank you. Someone finally cuts to the basket. Vic's got the ball. Oh my God, where am I going? Yeah, get him. Get him, hurt him. Grab his dick and twist it. We're down two points again and I've got a guard on me again. So I'm just gonna call the ISO, back him down and get a nice little post hookup for 20 points. I swear, Vic might be even worse than I am in the pick and roll defense. I don't know where he's going, but I'm just gonna give this to Gafford and we're gonna get a nice little dunk in. More pick and roll action here. I dimed along right in the corner, but he doesn't want the three. He goes in for the mid ranger and makes it. That was unnecessary, but I like it. We are just trading punches at this point. So I'm gonna keep going back Back to what's working. I find Gafford with an open lane, but he tries to Euro it. Okay. Thankfully, he gets the rebound and they kick it back to me up top without me even asking. We're going to patiently wait for him to come back to me, do the exact same thing, except this time I'm going to lob it up and make it easy for him. They want to go at me in the pick and roll? The disrespect. Come here, you big bitch. That's a stop. I get the board. I'm looking up. I find DeLon right. Almost a turnover. He gets it anyway, and he's going to go in and score. Another stop, another rebound, and another mismatch. Match. Let me just walk this on in here. If this were Vic, they'd probably be double teaming me by now, but I've got to take what I can get. End of the third quarter. Somehow we're up 10. I've got the mismatch, but I'm not going to be a terrible person this time. I'm going to hit the fadeaway and earn it. And you know what, Vic? You aren't getting an easy shot all game, bucko. Nice air ball. Start of the fourth quarter. I get the ball against Vic and I'm almost a disbelief that I actually get to go one on one against Vic. We're going to back him down, send one fake and hit it. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Not going to lie. They've been getting easy buckets so it's actually getting kind of close again but they're gonna give me one-on-one -on -one against Vic again that's barbecue chicken I get it again down low can we make it three times in a row that I don't get double teamed no but you know what I just throw it over here I didn't even know someone was there but Tyus Jones is gonna finally knock one down for me I get the ball I'm not doubled what's going on oh I take one dribble here's a double team well you know what here's Landry Shamit for an open three let me tell you right now this is an easy spin and score if I can do it but no there's a double and yeah Nari. Finally, the old man comes back to life. Okay, takeover is over. I finally get to play basketball again. I wait for everyone to get the fuck out of my way. I send five pounds of force into Vic's stomach and I get another easy fade away. Wow, this is so easy. You are such a little boy. Of course, I'm dumb enough to keep on activating takeover, so I have to turn into a playmaker once again. I'm bringing the ball up here against Vic. I fumble my way into what would be an easy basket, but I know what I'm dealing with, and my only goal right now is to not get blocked at this point. I get the ball on the block. I don't know what my wizards are doing, but they're not just standing around me. They actually cut to the basket, and the center will throw an alley-oop to the point guard. This pass is just stupid. I guess I get Vic jumping, but I just send it through two defenders, and Gaffer gets an easy bucket. All right, now I'm just stat padding. I want the mid-ranger. That's green, but slightly early. <laughs> How? Again, just me stat padding. Time's running out. I want the buzzard beater and son of a bitch. And the rejection by
All in all, not a bad game, very bad start, but I finished with 30 points, 16 rebounds, and 16 assists. Kuzma had a big night with 23 and five three-pointers. A bunch of other teammates picked it up in the second half, but Corey Kisper nowhere to be found, one for seven from the three-point line today. Vic had 23 points, nine rebounds, four assists, and one block that I'm sure will be all over Twitter. But it's time for the press conference to get started. I've got a few more questions than usual because I received a fair amount of them in the comment section of the last video. Lena Becker, Washington Post. Congratulations on the triple-double and the win versus Victor Wembanyama. What are your thoughts on how you match up with him? I'm not going to lie. He's pretty solid on offense just based on God-given talent. But that Frenchie needs to embrace America some more and stuff several dozen McDoubles down his goalet before he stands a chance against me. Claude Martin, drama alert. Victor swatted away one of your baskets in the fourth quarter, and it's trending all over social media. Care to comment? Shut the fuck up. Don't ever speak to me again. The real 704 champ, BBC. You're one of the most talented players on the team when you're out there on the court. But in the showers, how do you measure up to your teammates? Corey Kispert and I have a motto that we both like to live by. I'm a grower, not a shower. It's the NBA. These guys are the best of the best. I do what I can to get it beefed up before hitting the showers, but when you're standing next to guys like Daniel Gafford and Bilal Koulibaly who have batons dangling between their legs, there's not much you can do. Moshi Man Cosmopolitan. What are your thoughts on feminism? Me, myself, I support women at every opportunity I get. Take one look at my browser history and the calluses on my hands and you'll know right away I am a proud ally. Random PS4 DL, Fox News. What's your favorite race? Mine's the Indy 500. Filipinos by a landslide, but I guess technically the Asians. Salty Popcorn 3120, The Wire. Are the trade rumors of Miles Bridges to Washington true? I wish. We need more guys who are going to come in here and try to literally take out the other team's best player. Plus, we've been looking to trade Jordan Poole since the day I got here. We would take that type of trade in a heartbeat and encourage his anger issues. Except we'd have to kindly ask him to limit himself to only beating men, preferably in the NBA and preferably on the other team. Raphael Nazarian's 2183 CNN. Meow. 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 That's far too political for me to answer, so no comment. All right, everybody, that's going to do it. Thank you.